Ship explodes. Okay, let's get... Okay, so we've got a third shield pip now in combat. Oh no, what's going on here? All right, let's move you here. I don't want to have you take damage from fighting the fire, so we're just going to vent it. Keep that door open for oxygen. Ouch. All right, go heal. I don't know if that was the smartest play, but we did it. So it's done. Okay. Um, let's go there. A rock mining vessel is harvesting mineral-rich mineral rich asteroids in this uh, locality, and their scouts take your presence to be a transgression. Battle stations. Okay, so we're occasionally getting hit by asteroids. Whoa, what? Oh, they're going to jump on board the ship. All right. Um... Will he follow me in here? No, he's going to go out there and fight. All right. Now, they have a finite number of crew, right? Like, if they send someone over and I kill that person, like, they just can't keep doing that forever, right? They can if they have a cloning bay? Oh, okay. What have I been targeting? I don't remember. I've been targeting their weapons, but it looks like I took out their oxygen, too. Splash damage, I guess. I wonder if it's possible to kill the enemy ship and still have them, like, some other people board it on your ship and then lose to the boarders. Accept their offer. All right, uh, where is Maxwell? Have him go heal. And go back. All right, and exits. You've arrived at a long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No much can be done. Investigate. Communicate peacefully. You try to communicate in every possible way you can, but they just stand there silently judging you. You prepare to leave. All right, next sector. Uh, pirate control is fun. Achievement unlocked. Just getting started. Uh, if the reports are true, this area has been under the control of pirates for quite some time. Some traders still attempt to trade with the few settlements that remain, but they do so at great risk. Congratulations, by making it to the fifth sector, you've unlocked the NG playable ship for future playthroughs. Does the NG playable ship start with NG people? I would assume so. That sounds nice. Since I know they repair fast. Starts with NG people and also drones. Oh. I haven't gotten to really try drones because I got them the one time and then lost to what I still consider a bug. Not too far from the beacon, you detect a destroyed cargo ship with its cargo scattered nearby. Bring it aboard. 
Uh, they appear to be filled with military supplies. You take everything you can and jettison the rest. Wow. 45 scrap. You forgot to close some doors. Did I? Hang on. Uh, scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Brief exploration yields nothing of interest. Okay. Uh, you receive a wideband automated message. Welcome to our humble trade depot and shipyard. Uh, all are welcome, but try any funny business and our 152 automated turret satellites will tear your ship to shreds. This reminds me of, uh, hold on. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an image I saw recently. Here we go. I saw, I saw the, <laughs> I saw, I saw this online. It's a, it's a Popeye's chicken and it says we we can fight at this location so think before you speak <laughs> this is this is like the space pirate version of that Popeyes continue uh, all right first of all repair all and then we'll see what's left all right I don't have anything to sell I've only got 35 left not much Burst laser. Burst laser isn't flashy if it gets the job done. Uh, hull laser 2. Can't really afford any of this. I don't even know why I'm looking. Alright. Close. Popeyes give you black eyes. Uh, your sensors are picking up a distress call in an encrypted Federation channel. Did it hurt your feelings? You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by rebel fighters. Aid the ship. You power up your weapons and engage. Mm okay. I see two weapons and drones. Alright, let's aim at the shields first. Wait, those are red. That's not auto, is it? Okay, hold on. Guys, is it doing it again? Auto fire is enabled. I'm left clicking this and it's red. Okay. Auto fire off. Left click. Now it's yellow. It's re it's inverted again. <laughs> it it's it's inverted again. I did all that with the mouse so you guys could see it and not the keyboard. So I just turned auto fire off and then it enabled auto fire. I'm, I'm glad I was able to show that with the mouse so that, you know, even the people that were the naysayers can believe, can believe it now. Uh, Alright, their weapon system hurts, so I'm going to hit their, or, uh, their weapons and not the shield. Hull breach? Oh, what do I do about that? Can I repair that? Yes, I can repair that. Uh, okay, well this is not great. This is not going well. Um, let's disable that and bring... Oh, I can't do that. Alright. Disable the flak and bring an Artemis online. Like, I don't think you understand bugs don't exist. What are you, the Helldiver's Twitter? Is it firing missiles? 
What the hell's happening? I'm like, I'm seeing a missile fire and I'm never seeing it get to the ship. There it goes. The last two missiles I've not seen enter this graphic. They have a defense drone. What the f is a defense drone? They, it's never told me that. What is it? Okay, I assume it sh shoots down missiles. I'm assuming it shoots down missiles. Jesus Christ. I have never seen that. I've never been offered that for sale. I don't know what that thing does. All right, we, we gotta go. We're, we're gonna freaking lose because of this. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scan quickly reveals a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you. Damn it, we weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. Uh, I'm very injured, so sure. Good choice. We've both come out of this richer. That's so frustrating. This game does not explain things. No, it doesn't. I feel like I'm playing Terraria for the first time right now. Like, I need a wiki next to me or something. Uh, upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome for a small fee. We'll let you continue. No. Too bad. Ah. And then we just stare at each other because they cloaked. I like to think the flat gun is me just shooting a whole bunch of garbage at him. Like when Roadhog would use his weapon. Are we winning? Absolutely. You would doubt my gaming ability? This was Patreon sponsored? Yes! Our dear Lorberry wanted to watch me try this game out. Honestly, okay, real talk. Th this is kind of cool. Uh, I, I see the charm of it. Um, there's, I, I've hit one glitch. Unfortunately, I've hit that glitch like five times, and that has been frustrating. But if I if I ignore the if I ignore the existence of that, like it's happening right now, I have auto fire turned off. But see that A? That means it's auto firing. I'm literally having the glitch right this second, but I'm learning to play with the glitch. So that feels kind of stupid. That said, uh, it's it's a pretty cool game. I can see the appeal of it. Uh, it's just you know unfortunate that I keep running into this issue. Just, it just occasionally reverses the controls, and then I, I just gotta keep an eye on it, so I just have to babysit this. Oh, dang. Uh, open, open. Man, they get a lot of time to repair and stuff when they go into cloak. I mean, I guess both teams do. It's kind of just like a break from combat. The flat gun is so RNG. Sometimes it's just like murder you, murder you, murder you, and then other times it's just miss, miss, miss. 
I find it weird your weapons aren't charging while the enemy is cloaked. Are they not? Except... Um... You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover a rebel automated scout is stationed here prepared for a fight. Okay. Checking for the A. Is there ever a point where you can have multiple people stationed in a room? Like have like two people in the shield room to have it going twice as good? need to jump as soon as possible. He's using missiles and those go right through shields. I might be dead. His last missile missed. Oh wow. That was close. You can set crew member to help us with the repairs. I know, I wasn't asking about repairs. I didn't say repairs. Uh, a small, a few small ships are visible on the vid screen, and you almost activate weapons targeting. However, since that blah blah blah, they're honest merchants. Okay. Um. Fix all, all your money. I like how I had the ship literally on fire while paying them to fix my ship. Okay, I think we're as good as can be right now. Uh, you've arrived at Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There's a black market here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosive, we'll pay for them. You can sell missiles. Uh, sell five. Okay, next sector. This is the farthest we've gotten. This is the farthest we've gotten so far. You've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. A missile shoots across the bow. You weren't expecting company, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he's got some nasty stuff. All right, uh, yeah, accept the bribe. We apparently have a price. Explore the asteroid field. Found some missiles. Okay. Uh, pirate ship was lying in wait. It attacks. Okay. Oh, it immediately got hit by an asteroid. Okay. What is that room? Clone Bay. Uh... I'm going to aim for their weapons room. Um... There's two of them. Okay. Uh, the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Um, don't know if we can stop it, but we will try. 
Accept their offer. All right, cool. So we got we got paid and we took almost no damage. All right, everyone back to your normal stations. Okay, let's try, let's see, where are we right now? We're right there. 115, we could go to the store and then go running away afterward. Let's do it. Uh, it's a Patreon sponsor stream. Yes, Lorberry did. Uh, indeed, I've been throwing a lot of older, more niche games at Mock these past few months. Going to take a break for a bit, but uh, spread some love to other creators I support. That is awesome. That is awesome. You're, you're very kind and generous with that, Lorberry. Uh, the NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Prevent your weapons fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot while cloaked. I don't have cloak. Cooldown between weapon shots improved by 10%. Automatically put out fires on the ship. That sounds kind of cool. Flak 2. Hmm. There's two pages to the shop. Yeah. Zoltan. Zoltan are allies of the NG. Their innate energy can power ship system. Provides power to occupied system. Uh, max health reduced to 70. 15 da minus... No, 15 damage to enemy crew on death. Ion Blast 2 is great at keeping shields down. Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. Uh, required power three, charge time four seconds. Shots per charge one. Does it go through shields? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm going to buy Flak 2. And then... I need... Oh, uh, okay. Shoot, I'm on short. Uh, if I do that. What? There. Okay. There we go. It's being weird. All right. Let's try this out. Okay, so I'm there. No, I'm there. Jump. A cluster of NG satellites in orbit of a nearby planet are the only clue the mechanical species was ever here. You have other places to be. Okay. Distress signal. If it hits shields, it does ion damage to the shield systems as if you hit it directly. Does it? Uh, a ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off distress call. Should we, should we investigate? Yes. You find a pirate ship damaged and abandoned. Salvaged. Nice. Uh, can I or forward another power bar? Yes. And then I can put that there. All right. So everything's powered again. Uh, I don't have a lot of money, so we'll skip the store this time. Uh, I don't have any money. Skip. Uh, we can purchase fuel here. 
sure. It's like the bad red stuff is almost here. When the red hits you, do you, does it just put you in a fight or do you just instantly lose? You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the fiddle drive is charged, you can jump. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. Uh, they want to buy drone parts. Uh, sell six drone parts. It's a fight, but it's super nasty. Okay. Uh, abandoned sector. Okay. I love when he says the fiddle drive. Yes. An image of some weak and hungry humans. Uh, intruders on board. Oh gosh. All right. So we got 3v3 in the med bay. My advantage. And 2v1 here. Slap fight. <laughs> I keep catching myself trying to mouse wheel in to zoom in and watch it. I can't have a fourth person go help them, apparently. You can't zoom in? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, it's not mouse wheel, at least. Oh, it's not a, it's not a big deal. I just, uh, I catch myself trying to do it. Probably from playing Timberborn too much. A few refugee ships are preparing for the long journey to another sector. They explain how a number of Lanius military ships uh, surrounded them and began to hack their fiddle drives. Fortunately, the Lanius moved on after briefly scanning the civilian ships, leaving them more than a little shaken up. Uh, a rebel scout patrols near the beacon. Ha, I knew you would try to sneak through this sector as soon as I heard it had become treacherous. Surrender. Uh, Alright, time to try our new flat cannon first. Ah, noises! Time to try our new flat cannon out. Same for their weapons and see what happens. The flat cannon fires seven shots at a time, but has a longer recharge. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Uh, actually, you know what? Just stay right there. I can't close the door because the door system's broken. Not good. How's attacking the ship going? I can't see anything. And that guy just died. Freaking whiffing. Oh, I, re I regret buying the flak thing. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. This guy's gonna die from no oxygen in the room where he's trying to fix the oxygen. I can't leave because. The... So the FTL drive isn't even charging if no one is in the pilot area.
Dude, this weapon sucks. It like never did any damage. And we're immediately 